तो सो लॉर्ड ऑफ यू आस्क मी लास्ट टाइम आई वॉज मेकिंग चेकेट कुकी लॉर्ड ऑफ यू आस्क मी हाउ आई गॉट द शेप एंड आई गेट पोस्टेड अ रेसिपी फॉर यू गाइज बट देन यू वर लाइक हो नहीं पाया सो आई एम डूइंग दिस फॉर यू सो दैट यू कैन Easily monitor C and this demo, and then you can make it yourself. It's a very easy recipe. So I'll stop eating and I'll get down to work. So it's a very simple recipe. The the recipe combined a mix of flour, butter. sugar and egg and the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 3 so very simple one part of sugar you take two parts of butter and you take three parts of flour and you crumble it first so so i'll take the butter add the flour to it sorry sugar to it i'll just mix it Now butter and sugar is mixed properly. I'll just add flour to it now. Just ensure you crumble it properly. reason why we crumble is we have to ensure that butter comes between the gluten and cuts out so that it you get a nice complete texture and this process uh, of adding butter is called adding shortening so because it's a shortening agent it ensures that there is no gluten formation happening and then uh, we just need to bind it together so i'll add a little bit of vanilla essence to the egg any time whenever i am using egg i ensure i add vanilla essence to it and i'll just add a little bit egg to it this egg is just for binding for people who wants a uh, eggless recipe uh, they can use a uh, cream instead and uh, yeah my dough is ready now so i'll just keep this for resting and uh, just always remember because there is a very high quantity of butter in it we we always rest it properly so what i'll do is i'll put this for resting and uh, for the ease what i have done i have already sheeted a the dough so the dough which was rested is sheeted and it's properly we cut slices of it long sticks of it Like this, we cut or both white and uh, dark. So 
So if you can see, we have long strips. And then we just need to arrange white, dark, white. And while you're adding, just ensure you press it so that it sticks properly. Dark. Now the next layer, again white, dark, white, dark. But on dark, we'll do white. On white, we'll do dark. So if you see, there is check formation happening. Please ensure, I'm again repeating that it is properly rested and it's uh, in the fridge because of the high butter content. If it's not rested, it will break. It will not be easy for you to handle. Just ensure it gets properly set. Press a little bit. So you can see the checks. Other side also. My paper checks are ready. I'll put this in the refrigerator so it gets hard. And uh, yeah, it's ready. So what I've done is I've cleaned this and. So, once it's in the refrigerator, it's like this. You simply need to slice it. So, your checks are ready, you just need to bake it. There's one more way what you can do is you can. So if you want dark or white, whatever you want to cover, you can roll it thin and cover it. So I'll just check my dough has gone a little softer so it's difficult to handle. So I'll quickly sheet a fresh one for you and uh, we'll roll it in.
can do is you can simply wrap the chocolate, the cookie. Press it nicely and then you can rest it. So what you will get is a nice casing and then rest it. So you get it this and then what you need to do is slice it. So your nice checkered cookie slice is ready and then simply bake it and after baking just eat it. Thank you.